uh, quick build assembly, and then we'll take general questions. I'm bumping up against my hour here. I do apologize for those audio issues at the beginning caught me. But build assemblies doesn't take too long. Now, remember the key with build assemblies is the build material was created over in QuickBooks in the item list. You have an assembly item. The assembly item has a build material. Build material, uh, maybe all your raw materials, it may have some sub-assemblies in it, things like that. But that is where the build material is created. We then sync that assembly item over so that you can do a new build here, or you can view some completed builds right here if you wanted to. I am going to build a 995, which is my mega sauce. And I'm going to hit select. This only takes a second here. We'll zip through this, and then we'll move into the general questions here. All right, the first thing we want to do is we want to check the availability. I enter in the quantity I want to build right here. If I hit check availability, it goes out, takes a look at my build materials, and tells me how many I can build out there in the warehouse. Do I have enough to build my one? i got enough to build 22, so I'm set. Now it's asking me where I'm going to build this. You should always have a different location than your general location there for building stuff. Um, this looks a lot better in the data, basically, if you're looking at it and everything else. I'm going to use production one as my location here. And I'm going to put in some information for my build. It needs a FIFO date. What date did this thing come into the warehouse? That'll probably be the date that you expect it to be out of manufacturing. And that'll be today. And this particular item has an expiration date as well. And so I'm going to say it's going to expire. Let's take this thing out into 2010 once again. And let's do, say, the 20 or the 19th here in 2010. Do I want it to be on hold when it comes out of my build? It doesn't need to go through a QC process. I could do so if I wanted to right here. I'm going to give my own internal build number, or something like 47 here. I'm going to do a memo here, build it today. And because it is a lot tracked item, I'm going to put a lot number in here as well. If this was a serial tracked item and I was building 100, I put in my starting serial number, and it would then increment the serial number by 1 to the point where you got to 100. All right, when I have all the information in here, I now hit Save. And that's what my finished good that I'm building is going to look like. Those are all the attributes for it. If I'm really picky about my builds and I want to make sure I use the exact super tanker rubber oil bladder that I want to use here, I can hit select here and manually select which lot number or serial number I wanted to use for that. In my case, I'm not nearly so picky, and I want the system just to use our normal picking logic to go out there and auto-select my inventory for me based off of FIFO or FIFO rules. And you can see it's now gone out there and selected everything. Next step would be to print my pick list for my picker here. And so I'm going to print out where he should go to go pick all the raw materials and move them over to my production location to be built. All right, and so this is going to pop up here. And let me close out that print window. So here we have uh, the information for the picker. And he can see the ingredients he needs to get, the raw materials there. And he can see the location he should go to get them in, the lot numbers I specifically want him to pick with the expiration dates here, and then how many he should be picked. When he has them all, you should take them over here to production one. That's where I'm building this. And hey, put a little hustle on it because we're building this thing today, would you? All right. And so off the picker goes and runs off and gets that stuff. Now, two things can happen here. You could hit complete right now if this is only going to take 20 minutes to build and you don't want to come back and do this later and you just want it to show in your inventory as being available now. Uh, you hit complete. And that's kind of the QuickBooks model. Uh, when you build something, it's done immediately. But if you have a longer build process and this isn't going to be done for two weeks, and you really don't want sales reps trying to sell it because it's not finished yet. You don't want pickers coming to pick it because it's not finished yet. What you want to do is you want to hold off on hitting complete here probably until the product comes out of manufacturing, at which point in time you'd go back in, view your build 47, and hit complete. And that way we then will increment the inventory, send that information back to QuickBooks, tell them there's one more, and update the warehouse and everything else. Final thing would be print labels if I want to. Do I need to put a label on this because it just came out of manufacturing? If so, I hit print labels, and it would print my labels for me. But right now I'm done. It's completed. I have initial, uh, another mega sauce sitting in production one. I'd probably want to go and just put that away on my main warehouse.